been like a mean stepbrother to me. Where the jokes at? I thought you were supposed to be the Wayne. Which one are you, pedo? I never told Jada I had a crush on her. One time I played her Stevie Wonders, too shy to say, and then she played me back in Vogue's Never Gonna Get It. <laughs> That's the latest special, God Loves Me, from the multi-talented Marlon Wayans. The comedian will be at MGM National Harbor next week. But before he hits the stage, Marlon spoke with me about starring in an upcoming Jordan Peele movie, whether he would ever go on Club Shay Shay, and his love for the DMV. I, I went to Howard University. I didn't graduate, so I'm not a bison. I guess I'm just bice. <laughs> um, I went for, <laughs> went for two years. Uh, but, you know, D.C. is like a, a, a third home for me. You don't let any grass grow under your feet. I feel like every week it's a new project. Something else is dropping. You're all over social media posting, I guess, Cowboy Carter pictures, too. I was going to ask you about that, by the way. You know, I, my body is in order, so sometimes I just like to flex an ab or two. <laughs> Well, you are doing it. Listen, uh, you've been at this for decades, your family as well. I mean, you all, I consider a dynasty uh, in entertainment. At this point in your career, how do you, like, test out jokes? Are, are you calling up one of your siblings? Are you, you know, how do you make sure it's what you want to give the people before you hit the stage? At this point in my, my career, I just write on stage. I don't even... It's like Jay-Z, when he writes, he don't write his rhymes down. I don't write my jokes down. I go down, I go on stage with a premise. And on stage, people are literally watching me write. So for the past two specials, I, I wrote, or three, I've written it on stage with just thoughts that I had. And it's beautiful because normally when you write, it's like you only have like your instinct. But when you write in front of an audience, you better be funny because audiences, y'all mean. <laughs> I don't tell jokes. I tell truth in a funny way. Okay, I, I hear you. Um, speaking of being honest and, and telling the truth, I, since I have you, I got to get your thoughts on this. We've seen so many uh, of your peers go on various podcasts in recent weeks, uh, Club Shay Shay namely being one of them. What do you think of that whole shift where people are kind of like airing their grievances on podcasts and then you, you're then in turn asked about something that was said about you or something you've done? What do you make of that kind of taking over uh, the conversation in the headlines these days um i love black people i don't think we should drink dark liquor and go on podcasts honestly i feel like um it, you know with these podcasts it's it's all people another uh, version of of a truth and everybody has their own interpretation just because somebody's telling you their truth it don't mean it's the truth because the truth involves another person from their point of view, and then it involves another person to witness that truth and be like, here's what really happened. So um, I'm not mad about it. Um, I think Club Shay Shay is a lot of fun. I ain't going on there. I, I was love just the about Shannon to ask show. You that, I, I, I love Danny Thought. I do. I love Danny Thought. But yeah, when, you, when you see Marlon on there, I'm going to be drink, drinking water. If I have a problem with somebody, I'm just going to call them up. Yeah. Or just let it go. I'm not I'm not going to air my... I don't think involving an audience of millions of people is going to solve a problem. I think it's just going to complicate it. So I think if you have a, a grievance with somebody, yo, pick up your phone and be like, yo, I didn't like when you did such and such. That's communication. I, I've been in a lot of therapy over the last four years, you know, and um, it's helped. Let's talk about this movie you're working on um, with Jordan Peele, I hear, called Goat. What can you tell yeah. me more? I could tell you it's, um, it's going to be great. Uh, Justin Tipping, who's the director, is a visionary, and I've never seen a movie like it, and I've never given a performance like this. It's, it allows me to give everything that I have. I think people know me for comedy, but I went to performing arts high school, so drama is, like, second nature for me. And in this movie, I'm able to do drama, comedy, dark, twisted, art, her vulnerability, and um, I think it's it's beautiful that uh, Jordan Peele uh, and Monkey Paul allowed me to have this opportunity to go go be my best Marlins. So when I look at Goat, it's not just about the movie; it's about me finding the Goat within myself 
and taking my whole life to the next level. And I just feel like right now, God's funny. It gives it to you when you're ready. And, and, and now I'm ready. It took me 51 years to be ready. And now I'm ready. He is so profound, and he's right. He doesn't get enough credit for it, but we're ready to watch that movie. If you want to see Marlon earlier, though, he will take the stage May 11th at MGM National Harbor, and we covered a lot of ground, lots of laughter. I'll have much more at 11 on Lion Lunch Hour, including his unconditional love that he has for his transgender son. So we're getting to know more about Marlon, oh, and he gave us plenty hey, of time. Fantastic good day. job, Marissa. Thank you. Thank you. He's hilarious. Yeah, you all were rolling when he mentioned to the club, stay safe. I stay couldn't stop far. laughing. <laughs>